Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Morgan Dinsley. And tonight, boxing out of the blue corner, he's in the blue trunks, dripping white. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Justin Pierce. This is gonna, we're gonna see a good fight here. Pearson. Or should I say another good fight? Yeah, we've seen some decent ones already. Some of the bigger guys, let's see if, uh, I always liked the 156 pounders. I thought they were a good combination of, of, of speed, but, but still and enough power, power to, to end it in, in one shot. Yeah. I fought a few, uh, at 156? Yeah, I fought really? about 30 bouts at 156. Wow. I, I was at 165 when it started. I couldn't hold it though, so I ended up at 178. But I remember the time, the very first time, I just couldn't make weight. And I just turned to the guys who run the tournament. I said, just, just put me up. And then my trainers got there later, found out what I did, and they're, they're, they were pissed. Yeah, 156 was tough because you had the, the athleticism and the uh, speed of a welterweight, but yeah. you had the power of a middleweight. So that was dangerous. I didn't hold that weight long because I was maturing. I was probably about 20, and then I moved up to 165. But these guys look uh, very powerful for that weight. Real good. I don't like the uh, stance of uh, the blue corner being quite that wide. And the other guy is trying to walk him down a little bit, Tinsley. I like Tinsley, he's got his hands up real nice, he's looking to counter. But uh, Justin is throwing some fast hand. Oh, there's a nice right hand by Tinsley. Yeah, Pierce's, Pierce's accuracy is, is pretty spot on here. Yeah. Not he, a lot of wasted motion, you know. Yeah, he knows where, when to hold, too. Good timing. A little more explosiveness from Pearson, maybe maybe a speed advantage. What do you see, Glenn? Yeah, I mean, it just, he's, he's timing him coming in, and, he, and he's really been accurate and pinpoint perfect with it. And now they're on the inside, he's working them up and down. Well, that was good work in there with the left one. Both these guys are really well scored. Oh, well, they're open to this. They've probably yeah. been fighting, you know, they might have been fighting since they were 10 years old. You know, you know how many amateur fights they've had, or how long they've been doing. Pierce is tough. Pierce has got a good combination of speed and power. Yeah, he does. And he looks like he's, uh, Running on all cylinders today. It's a nice move. I think if uh, Pierce slows down at all, it's going to be. And uh, just a little bit of danger zone. Yeah, he's lining up that right hand. He's got to keep this pace going. I don't know if he can. Time will tell. But if he keeps this pace going, I, I like what he's doing. Good counter punching. Pressing the fight. I don't think he can keep this pace up. I know he's got his feet out already in the corner, but he looks relaxed. We'll see. Both guys got their feet out. Okay. He might even be from the same gym. And just happenstance their way to the final beach. Possible. Yeah. Both from Michigan. Because I see the same style of coaching in both corners. And they actually look like they've worked together before. Uh, I see elements of maybe they look like they're just a too familiar with each other. Tinsley 
was told to double and triple his jab up, which is what he's doing, and it's, it's causing uh, Pierce not to counter so easily. Tinsley had, he had, to, yeah, the ref caught that. Yeah, the left arm was hooked on the glove. Yeah, well, Tinsley he hooked he it, tied yeah. Up. yeah. He had that, had that, uh, he knew that punch wasn't coming. Tinsley's looking for that straight right hand. He's got a good one. He's got to see his way in, though. Good, good high gloves. That's, that's what carrying punches is. Yeah, Pierce got away with one there. Well, you can't come in with your head down. The palm is coming well, in and bending over, too, so it takes two, two to tangle. Yeah, but she had a couple words for uh, Tinsley, and she didn't say anything to Pierce. Right. Yeah, I probably told him to keep his head up. But Tinsley's, Tinsley's throwing uh, the, the big stuff now. Yeah, they're both, they're both starting to look. Oh, that's not going to get him anywhere with the judges. And probably not with the crowd either. He stuck his tongue out at him. He's still doing it. Wow, he's wow, he's wow. he is really losing friends. Yeah, that's, well, I don't know who taught him that, but... He's trying to intimidate the fighter. I don't think he's worried about the judges. Boy. He the rest got of told him yeah. to talk. So that was yeah. a good job on the ref. As she ain't having it. Really good on the rules. Good voice command. Now he's putting the what is Pierce work. doing? He's doing the, the footwork. He was, he was boxing so beautifully. Yeah, and now he is. Well, he, a little bit. Uh, maybe that's a, yeah, maybe there's a tactic to, to waste some time. But, I mean, he's not winning any fans over with these antics. I mean, everybody wants to see a guy like this get knocked down right on his ass. Well, he's getting, he's getting really hard. And uh, the round is swinging to Morgan Tinsley on my scorecard. Well, it's just too hard to like Pierce now. I mean, the, the sticking out the tongue, the taunting. It's a good, respectful fight with two guys with very good skill level, and, and he's turning it into a clown and a round show. Well, he's trying to get in the other guy's psyche and then it's down a little bit. I don't know. He, okay, let's say you're his corner man. What are you telling him right now? I'm telling him to step on the gas and go full throttle forward. But but the antics. I mean, I, I, I would say, listen, you do that again, I won't be back here when you come back. Okay? You cut that crap out right now. Keep your tongue in your mouth. You got your hands full with this guy. And if you think you're winning an easy fight, you're not. There's no reason for him to be acting cocky. You gotta give it, you gotta give it a kid like that. Uh, I'm gonna say, if, if you can back it up, let's see you do it now. Just talk the talk, now let's walk the walk. I, I, I had Wally Conrad, Jack Cerny, and Chris Sackle in my corner one night. I had a big first round. I got back to the corner, and they were all ready and ready to talk to me. And I looked at Jack and I said, go get the car. And he didn't want to hear that out of an 18-year-old kid. <laughs> so so they, they sat me down and then and unfortunately for me, the fight went the distance. I did win it, but I mean I, I, I made it sound like I was about to take him out and I couldn't. And, and that that little one liner followed me around for about four years. Wow. Hey, go get the car, huh? go get the car, they used to say. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not I was not as a kid the respectful guy who sits next to you today, I gotta tell you. <laughs> Uh, 
this point, patience and poise has to be thrown out the window. He's eaten too many uh, punches here, and he's... Nice hook. Kind of a slap, though. Everybody heard it. Yeah, and it scored. Well, you got to like here. Now, you got to like here so much more this round than the guy that showed up last round. He's a serious guy. He's, he's, he's got a high skill level. He doesn't need to do that crap. He, this is a much better... This is what people really want to see. They don't want to see those antics. And this is a much better round for him. He's getting serious. I don't know what they told him in his corner, but whatever it was, it must have been effective. This has been his best round of the fight. Also, uh, you know, two places allowing him to put that heat on There's got to be more of a sense of urgency in Tinsley's part. He's just not coming off the punches. You can't possibly think he's ahead of going. Pretty confident throughout the, the three rounds. Did you feel you were in control of this fight? Oh, yeah. I already knew that I was definitely winning the bout. The guy was a very tough guy. He actually had a lot more power than I was expecting, but it just comes with, with, with the territory. And uh, you didn't seem intimidated by trying to run away? No, no, just because, I mean, I've been here so many times. That was like my 43rd fight. I know there's a lot more people that have a lot more fights. They're like, man, 43 ain't really nothing, but it's something to me for right now at least. How old are you? 24. And will you be going in the Golden Gloves? Uh, maybe, or I might just turn professional after the December Nationals. What nationality are you? I'm actually just black, man. Oh, so maybe you take after Joe Lewis, huh? 
Yeah, yeah, yep. Okay. <laughs> yep, yep. There you go. All right. Yeah, yep. Thank you. Congratulations. Man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Now, watch these exciting Chicago Fight Club matches on YouTube. Become a subscriber and give us a like. Then forward the URL to other boxing fans. Thank you for watching. Hey honey, let's get some sharks, fish, and chicken for dinner. They have three locations south near us. You can call in the order and I'll pick it up. Or call Uber Eats, DoorDash, or Grubhub and have them deliver. You can get a fish dinner and I'll get the chicken. They both come with fries, bread, and coleslaw. Sharks has other side orders and desserts. Call Sharks now, honey. Sibley Store Fixtures and Restaurant Equipment, located at 2 West 147th Street in Harvey, Illinois, and 1703 East End Avenue in Chicago Heights. For freezers, ice makers, slicers, mixers, and much, much more. That's Sibley Store Fixtures and Restaurant Equipment. Call 708-333-3990.